I want us to look at your relationship once again. And the area we want to deal with is those areas where you have doubt about. We want to talk and see how you can remove those doubts and align back. Many a times in relationship, you have not made mistake in that marriage. You have not made mistake in picking that partner. The problem you have is the momentary challenge that has faced you or your spouse that made you to begin to doubt that relationship. So the situation on one side, the relationship is still a perfect union. The joblessness is on one side. The relationship is still in tune if you are able to sit well. But many a times, we take our eyes from the relationship. We begin to look at the challenges. And what you give your attention to multiplies. And if you are not careful, a mole will grow to become a mountain. And when it grows to become a mountain, it can create a wedge between the two of you. This is why many people lose their relationship. Though such relationship were heavily but because at a point in time they doubted that relationship the question to you is is has that much changed is it not the same person you got married to some years back it's still the same person so what you should learn to do is when you have challenges coming up in that in your relationship give that relationship time like the saying of Robert Schuller, he said, tough time never lasts. Tough people do. I agree with you that there are no perfect relationships. And that's the very reason why you need to keep moving on. When you move on, there will be a time in that relationship when God will pour his oil and he will heal the broken hearted and he will bring comfort those who, to those who are comfortless. Sometimes it will not be your spouse that will be the answers to your comfort. The Bible talks about the joy that passes all human understanding, but it comes when you know that your relationship has the knowledge of God. God is backing it. You might say, tell me, that that relationship was conceived in sin. God knows about it. God, who could turn the prostitute, Mary Magdalene and Lara, knows about that relationship. The Bible says that when we turn unto the Lord, the veil shall be removed. All you need is turning back to the Lord. All the inadequacies of the past, the mistakes of the past, will be turned around. So God knows about your relationship. So, and if you know that God knows about it, you should have the patience, the knowledge that the future will be okay, will be all right. God knew that we will always have challenges, but he said, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our feet. So in your relationship, remove the doubt. Believe that God knows about it and good things will come out of it. There's a man in the Bible, John the Baptist. Why am I using him? Just to tell us that God understands that there are times that there will be doubt, even in heaven back prophecy. Even though you got married legally, even though God told you this, specifically whom to get married to. That does not remove those moments when there will be doubt. But when there are doubts, always believe that it will end well because God is in your boat. John the Baptist was told the signs of our Lord Jesus Christ, of the dove that will come forth and announce that he is the Lord. John the Baptist saw it. 
John introduced Jesus Christ to the world. But along the line, there were heat challenges from Herod that caused John the Baptist to be incarcerated, thrown into the prison. John the Baptist believed that if Christ is the Lord, he should be able to save him from the situation. We assume that was his thought. He had to send back to Jesus Christ and ask him, are you really the one that was to come? Do you know that every relationship often gets to that point, whether in moment of quarreling, lack, challenges, or diseases, or one pain or the other, one of the partner we ask, he may not ask verbally, but in the torture, is he really the person? Is she really the person? The point is, when you met, there are signs of attraction. Sign of attraction don't lie. It will remain your navigating tool to always tell you that it shall be well. And trusting that the Lord will make it well. Why am I saying this? Is don't give up on that relationship. Because if you begin to think that maybe the right person is still out there, sometimes it will make you not to put in your best in your present relationship and you may lose it. And when you get out there, even the person you thought is the right person, if you get married to another man, you will still get to a point in that relationship when you begin to ask the question, is he really the one? So on this premise, I'm challenging you, give your relationship time. The lovelessness is for a moment. Give it time. True mutual understanding, true tolerance, true long suffering, love will come back. God knows how to bring one to a relationship. There was a wedding at Cana, the wine finishes. But when they took it to Jesus Christ, he created a new wine. All I will admonish you now is as to keep moving in that relationship, keep praying. The Lord will bring wine again. The doubt will be removed, but give it time. Let me ask you, is there any area you are doubting in your relationship? Pray about this area. Trust God and give it time. You know that God does not rejoice in in divorce, and you know that there have been married that has faced heat and were healed later in time. Let your relationship be one of such testimony. God bless you. I am Wale Adewu. Have a pleasant day.